Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing Dawn Power Wash to see how well it removes bacteria from my home. This video is a viewer request. I've had requests to test Dawn Power Wash from Yanely Dominguez, HH42, Mara, Bad Bitch Baby, Sweet Fire, Kayla Moore, and others. So quite a while ago, I had tested palm olive dish soap all around my home. I had a lot of people from that video saying, hey, why didn't you just use Dawn Power Wash? Everybody uses Dawn. A lot of people claim that this Dawn Power Wash is like amazing and can clean so many things and it's so much better than any other dish soap. So I figured I'll give it a try. So I explained in the Palm Olive video that the reason why we use Palm Olive in my home and not Dawn is because of allergies. There was a thread that went around in the food allergy world probably about 15 years ago that said Dawn uses peanut oil in their cleaning products. I reached out to Dawn, Procter & Gamble several times in the past 15 years to ask, do you put peanut oil in your products? And I've gotten many different responses. I've gotten, that's proprietary, we can't tell you. I've gotten, absolutely not. And I've gotten, yeah, I think we do. And it always blows my mind, like that they cannot give me a straight answer as to what are the ingredients in their products. However, one of my friends who is very savvy in the food allergy world said that she has cleared Dawn Power Wash for people who have the food allergies that we have in my home. I still don't feel comfortable using that or giving them actually my business because they did give me such a runaround for the past 15 years. So I'm going to stick to palm olive for my dish soap, but I will test Dawn Power Wash for my viewers. And when the bottle is finished, that's it. I'm just going to let it go. I also see oftentimes on different cleaning Facebook groups where people will suggest use Dawn Power Wash for everything, not just dishes, like use it in your shower. It's good for this. It's good for that. So we're going to test it today. Now, nowhere on the bottle does it say that it's antibacterial. It doesn't say that it can kill bacteria anywhere that I've looked at quickly. I don't see that anywhere. But I am going to test it for bacteria because that's what I do on this channel. So in order to test how well Dawn Power Wash removes bacteria from surfaces in my home, what I'm going to do is take a petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm going to take some sterile swabs and I'm going to swab various areas around my home, including the kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink and toilet rim. Now place those samples in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to clean using the Dawn Power Wash, swab the areas again, and place those samples in the section labeled A for after. So this way we'll be able to see how much bacteria is on a surface before and after cleaning with Dawn Power Wash. So let's read how we're supposed to use this Dawn Power Wash. Okay, directions for use are use in place of your normal dish soap. Scrape off excess food from your dishes. Do not soak in water. Interesting. Fully squeeze the trigger and spray directly on dishes for fast, continuous coverage. Oh, it must have one of those like sprayers, not just a, a pump. And then it goes on to how you clean dishes. So they also have here spray wipe rinse. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I will spray the surface. I will wipe it with a paper towel. If you're concerned with my paper towels having bacteria on them, I have bacteria tested paper towels multiple times and not once if they had any bacteria on them. And then it says to rinse. So what we'll do is we'll spray, we'll wipe, we'll rinse, and then sample after. I've often seen people say this works really great for shower soap scum. So I think as a little bonus to this video, it won't be a bacteria test, but I'm gonna see how well it removes soap scum in my shower. Now looking at the ingredients, I really wish they'd make these a little bigger. Um, it looks pretty simple. It looks like it's just water, some soap, and alcohol, and fragrance and stuff like that. So basically I think it's just diluted dish soap with alcohol. So I would expect it to be able to remove quite a bit of bacteria. Palm olive alone did a fantastic job. So I would expect this to do well. And it does have what it says is a lemon scent. So I'll let you know how that smells too. So let's see how well Dawn Power Wash removes bacteria, even though they make no claims to be able to do so from around my home.
Now for some results. Let's have a look at the kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the Dawn Power Wash did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the Dawn Power Wash did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. And in the after section, there's just one bacterial colony growing. So the Dawn Power Wash did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see some bacteria. It's not as huge as I see in some other toilet rim samplings, but we can still see bacteria. And in the after section, there's no bacterial growth at all. So the Dawn Power Wash did an excellent job of removing the bacteria from my toilet rim. In addition to testing the bacteria removal on hard surfaces in my home, I also tested it in my shower. So if you watch my other videos on shower cleaners, I kind of have a little rating system for how easy a product is to use to remove soap scum in my shower. I do have a shoulder injury, so for me, ease of use is very important. So my rating system is this. Can I just spray and wipe? Do I have to spray, wipe, and rub a bit? Do I have to spray, wipe, rub, and then bring out my scrubby brush? Or am I at a place where the product is not removing a lot of soap scum and I have to call in one of my boys or my husband to you know, really put in some elbow grease and scrub it? So for the Dawn Power Wash, it did a pretty good job with cleaning the soap scum from just the glass door. So for my bathroom glass door, I had a spray, wipe, and rub a bit. After rubbing, it was able to remove the majority of the soap scum. Not all of it, but it did do a pretty good job. When it came to the floor of the shower, I'm not seeing it. I didn't feel the Dawn Power Wash did a good job at all. First I wiped, didn't do anything. Then I rubbed, didn't do anything. And then I brought my scrubby brush out and I really still did not see a really good difference. So part of the walls and the floor just did not get cleaned well enough. I did not call in my boys and my husband because at the time of filming they weren't home, but this is the kind of product where I'd have to have them help because I do not have the strength to spray it and scrub it as hard as it needs to in order to remove the dirt and grime. I'm looking for a product when I'm cleaning my shower and tub that I can just spray, wipe, or rub lightly. So for me, I'm not going to use the Dawn Power Wash ever again in my shower. But overall, when it comes to bacteria removal, hey, it does a fantastic job. You saw that. It removed a ton of bacteria from the kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, and toilet rim. Now this does have that weird foamy sprayer and I know a lot of people like it. I'm not a huge fan myself personally of the big foamy sprayers, but um, it does uh, foam up really nicely and it does spray pretty evenly when you are using it. So that is okay, I just don't like it. I like a regular traditional trigger spray. The scent is lemon scent. Guys, this ain't lemon scent. This is chemical lemon scent. We've seen this before on a lot of products that I test. You know, it's just not a pure lemon scent. It's, you know, a chemically scent. I don't like the smell at all. Maybe there are some other scents. Not the scent for me. It doesn't linger though. After you spray, give it a couple minutes and you're wiping and everything, the scent does not linger. But definitely just not a scent that I particularly like. So overall, I can see why some people like the Dawn Power Wash. It definitely foams up nicely. It was able to clean um, the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink and the toilet room very nicely. But for the shower, yeah, I didn't see it all. It's not a traditional shower cleaner, so I didn't have high hopes for it. But um, maybe if you are someone who has very light soap scum, I let my showers get really dirty to give a product a really hard test. So perhaps if you're someone who's very light soap scum, this would work fine for you in the shower. Also, just as a quick aside, it does suds up a lot, so make sure you rinse, 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 which it should. I mean, it's a, a soap product. Another thing I should point out is that they have refill kits, so you don't have to constantly purchase the trigger spray over and over and over again. You can just purchase a bottle for refill, so that's kind of a nice thing. And I have seen online people put those recipes, oh, make your own, whatever it is what it is, but at least you can purchase just refill, so you only have to buy the trigger spray just once. 
So if there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. I do have about 2,000 suggestions. I love seeing what my viewers want me to test next. Now if I see a product that comes up over and over and over and over again, then I know a lot of viewers want to see it. So I'll kind of bump that up in the queue of items to be tested. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email first so we can have a conversation about the product before you send it to me. It might be something that I have in my home already in queue to be tested. It might be something that I've already tested. So just let's have an email conversation about it first before you mail me something. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.